In a spot where most people are thinking sunglasses and a beach towel, Stephen Fontana has visions of microscopes and lab coats. 60-70% of the world is covered with ocean. That's basically an untapped resource. That is the future in many areas of biotechnology products. Biotechnology, understandably, gets lost in the tides of rest and relaxation at the ocean. But researchers at UNC Wilmington believe the organisms in these waters could hold the key to some of society's most serious challenges. They've got compounds of biological activity that we think is going to be important in terms of human health. They might be the next anti-infective, uh, anti they might be the next uh, treatment for cancer, they might be the next neurological agent. But long before any discoveries like that are made, the organisms wind up in a dish or a flask inside Dr. Jeffrey Wright's lab. Wright and a host of other marine science researchers are part of a new project at UNC Wilmington called Marbionic. Marbionic is a marine biotechnology program. It stands for Marine Biotechnology in North Carolina. The not-for-profit development group combines two types of work. There's the research side of things, where compounds are first discovered and later put through months, even years of tests, and the commercial side. Marbionic works to license many of its discoveries to the pharmaceutical industry, complete with patents in many cases. The traditional academic institution would discover something, publish it, and the rest of the world would look at it and say, geez, that's really interesting. But from an industrial perspective, if you don't have intellectual property protecting that molecule, that invention, that process, then it's, they're not interested. Narrowing down samples of ocean water filled with organisms into something with value is time consuming to say the least. There's probably as many as 5,000 compounds in a crude extract and maybe only one of them is biologically active. Wright and a team of researchers put the samples through all sorts of tests in hopes of discovering something interesting. But is there anything in here that has antibacterial activity, antifungal, antiviral? As pharmaceutical companies look toward the next generation of potentially life-changing drugs, the ocean is a common point of interest. There is a reasonable confidence and well-placed confidence that um, marine organisms will have a significant number of drug candidates carefully hidden within them. Researchers say about half of the drugs on the market today rely on natural products from land-based organisms. Not only are the waters largely untapped, but the types of life there could be more biologically interesting. Animals and microorganisms have had to develop defense mechanisms, maybe more so than a land animal. They have no way to get away and um, or they're, they're very tiny. So a lot of them have produced very selective compounds to protect themselves. Researchers at Marbionic have discovered several compounds that could have an impact on human health one day. One of the most promising is called Brevinal. That was discovered because we recognized a pure material that, that enhanced mucociliary discharge, uh, the expulsion of mucus from lung. And it was like a click, click, click. Okay, that could be used for cystic fibrosis. Hey, that could be used for asthma. Wow, what about COPD? Gee, what about chronic smokers? Marbionic researchers are also testing a compound derived from the ocean that makes existing drugs more effective. It's called Brevison. We're able to move a very big charged molecule that normally wouldn't go into the cell and pull it right into the cell in a matter of seconds. Dr. Andrea Bordele is using a fluorescent dye to demonstrate the process. Different cell line. Researchers say since Brevison can help deliver a drug to the right areas more effectively, it could also help reduce how much dosing is needed to begin with. A lot of them have between like 15 and 20, 30 percent bioavailability, but if you can improve that to 70 or 80 percent, that's how much less dose you'd have to take. So you might not have the same toxic effects if you have a much lower dose. The researchers at Marbionic are able to do extensive testing on all their compounds, but the new discoveries can't get to the marketplace without many more tests and outside help. The challenge for them is they're uh, obliged to, you know, work in new science. I mean, that's their main direction. Uh, but to transfer that into the outrageously expensive arena of drug development is not very practical.
That's why Marbionic has partnered with pharmaceutical executive Alistair McEwen and Ocean Therapeutics Incorporated. McEwen is working to connect companies looking for new drugs with the research and compounds coming out of the Marbionic lab in Wilmington. I think the market demand could be quite significant. The thing is really to get to the right groups within Big Pharma yeah. uh, who are looking in specific therapeutic areas or, part or particular uh, target areas. McEwen and Marbionic leaders envision a partnership with pharmaceutical companies that runs all the way through the drug discovery and approval processes. I think if we had a particular candidate identified in the next six months, then it would start to take its own life and we would negotiate a license with, a, with the appropriate pharma company and then it would start the development process through preclinical, clinical testing. If a Marbionic discovered drug was ever sold on the marketplace, Marbionic would share in the royalties. Not only could the researchers help solve unmet medical needs, but help fill in holes caused by industry contraction. Big Pharma worldwide has been reducing its, its discovery capabilities. By necessity, Big Pharma is going to have to go farther and farther back looking at third-party developments for their potential molecules. We're still a little bit away away from, I think, where industry will readily accept university discovery and university will readily work with industry. And I think that's where, where Marbionics sits, is trying to, to smooth that road, trying to build the bridges and, and actually increase that, that capability.